Hi everybody. Welcome to the yoga room. We're in the pink today. So we're going to be doing standing poses. But if you have your chair, you can do everything we're doing just by sitting in the chair, putting your feet on the ground. But uh, I'm going to be demonstrating from standing. Okay, so we're just going to warm up by the Ganesh swinging our elephant trunks from side to side, letting the spine twirl, just having some fun, breathing, probably taking a break from our day, and letting the arms swing if you want them to swing a little higher and then twirl back down. And then roll the shoulders back. Okay, and now let us be in our feet. So we're, I'm rolling from heel to toe. From heel to toe, from heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. And then up on your metatarsal, so I'm lifting my feet and just walking along the mat, walking backwards. This is good for maintaining balance. If you're in your chair, just lift up your metatarsals and march, okay? And then we're going to go from side to side. If you're in your chair, just go leg from side to side. You can bring your arms up above your head. Just feel your feet. What are your feet doing without looking at them? Okay, looking down will cause a lot of jaw tension, upper neck tension, and who doesn't have enough of that? So don't add to it. Okay, and now let's rock back and forth, heel to toe again, heel to toe, heel to toe. I think I'm going to move my camera back just a little bit so you can see more feet. Okay, okay, I think that's good. Heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. Okay, and then just pump your feet, march. So stretch out your toes very wide and let them drop down on the mat like flower petals. So lift them up and then drop your toes down like flower petals. Lift your toes up, drop them down like flower petals. There's a lot of flower petals out now in New England, at least. Lift your toes up, drop them down. Okay, make the toes as wide apart as you can. Stretch them as wide apart as you can. Lift them up and find the spot under the neck of the big toe and under the neck of the little toe and press down. And then at the back of the heel, the inside and outside of the back of the heel, press down and stretch like you want to claim as much real estate as possible. Stretch the bottom of your feet and then softly drop your toes. Okay, find the little toe side of your foot and stretch it back. Okay, so the first three toes attaching to the tibia, the shin bone. Let the shin bone come up toward your knee. Okay, and then feel a tightness around your thigh, like a skin diving or scuba diving suit. Caressing your thighs. Open the eyelid of your groin. That's right here. Widen behind the pelvis. Move the navel in. And now just put your hands on your hips and push
push down so that your legs are very, very strong. Okay, toes are long, but not gripping. And now the rib cage lifts, lifts up out of the pelvic bowl. Widen behind your heart, move your buttock flesh down and extend your collarbone. So this collarbone extending out to your index finger and your middle finger. And from your little finger, imagine the line coming back to your back shoulders. Okay, extend. So our hands are like the queen's hand. God bless her, okay? Fingers together. You can do this in your chair. Squeeze the upper back. So the arms attach to the back body, not to the front body. Front body moves out towards the fingers and the little finger moves back into the back body. Now, can you put a light bulb at the tip of your tailbone and a light bulb behind your heart and a light bulb in the middle of your brain? Turn the palms up, stretch the palms open. Now you're not going to see my hands, but my palms are facing each other. So find your feet, move the buttock flesh down, lift the fingernails up. And now turn and push the air down again palms down. Squeeze the upper back. And then drop the hands, turn the palms forward. Stretch from the shoulders down to your hands, bringing awareness to the back of the arm. Move the shins up and the buttock flesh down. And we're going to repeat that, but let's take a break. Let's roll the wrists. And roll the wrist in. So roll the wrist out. Roll the wrist in. Roll the wrist out. And then shake. 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 Okay. And then we're going to take our right arm across the front, stretching here. Can you pat yourself on the back? And pat the side of the neck and the shoulder. As you stretch, okay, then take the left arm across, stretching the deltoid, and we're gonna tap. Swing the arms. Okay, let's go back and rock back and forth. If you're in your chair, just rock back and forth. Spread out the toes. Lift the shins up out of the ankle. Lift the kneecaps up. Open the eyelid of the groin. Move the buttock flesh down. Push your legs down. Lift your heart up, put a light bulb at the tip of the tailbone, behind the heart, in the middle of your brain, and light them up. You can connect them. And let's grab the elbows. Okay, then we're going to lift the elbows up over our head. Okay, so pull the elbows apart. So we're pulling the elbows apart as we're lifting them up at the same time, okay? And standing in Tadasana. And find that light bulb at the tailbone, behind the heart, 
in the middle of the brain, light them up, connect them, move the buttock flesh down, widen the feet, and we're going to switch the grip, lift up. So again, remember, we're lifting up and pulling apart at the same time. So lift up and pull apart. Find your feet, find the tips of your elbows, and lift up, pull apart, and drop into the feet. And come on down. Okay, roll the shoulders back. And roll the shoulders forward. And now lift the knee up. And down, up and down, up and down. Now we're going to open our legs. If you're sitting in the chair, open your legs and we're going to fold forward from here. Okay, so this is a good guy. So this is a yardstick. Okay, so my back is flat. This is hip flexion without back flexion. So, we come forward, keeping the back flat. You may not come forward that much. If it's this much, what we don't want is the cashew. So do the best you can do. Now, once you're here, Find your little toe and send it out. The whole little toe side of your foot is going out to the side. And the big toe and the second toe and the third toe are going forward. So the fourth and fifth toe are going this way and the first three toes are going that way. I'm going to just move so you can see my entire. Okay. And then slowly come up, keeping the back straight. And you could do that in your chair by just coming forward. Okay. Next, if you're in your chair, come towards the front of the chair. If you're standing, rock back and forth. Spread out your feet. Move the buttock flesh down, belly slightly in, widen the top of the chest, and take your hands behind you, okay, and lift the heart up without not moving the belly. Just lift the heart, look up. If you're in the chair, you can just, everybody else keep lifting. If you're in the chair, lift up. Okay, back bending action. And then open the legs again. If you're in the chair, open your leg and then take your left hand down to your right knee or right toe, keeping the back as flat as you can, lifting the right shoulder, dropping the left shoulder. Come back to the middle, come up. Now we're going to take our right hand either on our left knee or left ankle, moving the right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back. And you may want to just touch your knee. And then let's 
soon. Slowly. Coming up. And then put your hand on your hips. Bring your feet back to center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Feel the stretch in the side of the neck. Come up to the center. Drop your left ear to the left shoulder. Come back to the center. Right ear, drop your hands this time to right shoulder and then extend the left arm. You'll feel the sternomastoid muscle, probably. Come on up. Left ear to left shoulder, extend the right arm. Come up. Inhale, exhale, turn and look to the right. Inhale, exhale, turn and look to the left. Inhale, exhale, turn and look to the right. Inhale, exhale, turn and look to the left. And then come to the center, open your feet. And we're just going to stretch to the right. Stretch to the left. Bring your feet together, arms, palms facing each other. Banana Rama. So make yourself into a banana, stretching to the right. Come forward, banana to the left. Forward, we'll go banana to the right, banana to the left, and then open up. And if you have a chair, sit down. If you're standing, you can just put your hands on your heart. We'll do some heart breathing. So imagine your heart has nostrils. And you're inhaling and exhaling from the heart. You can close your eyes. Nice, soft, smooth, silky breaths. And let's gather that heart energy and blow some love out into the world. So thank you so much for inviting me into your house. And I will see you next Tuesday for a mini yoga lesson. Hope you're all well and enjoying the sunshine.